Okay, so I've given a little tour of the allotment. Kept it brief. Essentially, now I'm going to do a little tour of the little edible hedgerow that I'm creating. So, like I said before, what I'm doing is trying to make it more easy for me to manage in the long run. So this edible hedgerow that's going around the whole of the allotment, in the allotment will enclose my animal crop, so they will provide a bit of shelter for them. We're also trying to help keep out some of the weed seeds from going in. Now this site, or this one site, okay, this site is quite exposed, so that's why you've probably seen in the video, not the video, um, not the tour video, that I have most of my greenhouse panels inside my greenhouse at the moment. So what this is doing is essentially one of the time savers that I did was to knock out a few of the small raised beds at the bottom of the plot and the place would go around with one large perennial uh, hedgerow that we created. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look around the edible perennial hedgerow. Now it's quite young, uh, so it's something to think about. So it's about the oldest part is about two years old. It's still a work in progress, it always will, so you will always, you'll see uh, newly propagated plants that have been planted in there, such as rhubarb or cordoons, which is still very young. You'll also see weeds as well, of course, because it is a work in progress and it requires management at the moment, so a bit of weeding just to help until those plants are established. Days is trying to do that as well. Now, one of the things I want to do is grow in various ground cover plants, so things like wild garlic, and strawberries, alpine strawberries, which are really good for shady areas, and even crops like rhubarb or country, which will help to be a bit of ground cover, so it will help to um, block out the sunlight from any other weeds. Now, to get this this edible perennial hedgerow sorted. Um, if I was to spend money on these plants that I have here, at a garden centre that I've got established, it comes with quite a lot, a good few hundred, few hundred pounds to spend here. But for me, I saw this opportunity as a way to brush up my horticultural skills and learn a bit of crop cultivation. So you see various cuttings that are in the ground, you see plant divisions there as well. One of the things is it is an allotment site and I want to keep things uh, as frugal as possible. Now you may also be thinking, you know, why grow like this, like a traditional type, and that is because of my allotment site that's like 50% abandoned and just the whole thing as annual crops for me is just not feasible. Plus, it also adds a diversity. So yes, so with regards to getting the plants, learning my horticultural skills, taking cuttings, divisions, also did a lot of trading, so stuff that I didn't need, the stuff that I did need for your science, like frugal, frugal, free cycle, rubbery, etc. So I've got other plants through that way. So what we're going to see as well, and you also see as well, you also see some dead plants in the head. For me, mistakes, you know, it's a learning process. Growing things like kiwi and tea, I've tried before and as best as I could uh, during the last summer with the heat wave. Um, they just haven't seemed to pull through. Not that I'm going to give up on them yet, but they haven't pulled through. So you actually see it's the parts as well. Uh, it's part and parcel of you know, growing. Like, you, know, you make mistakes, you learn from your failures. So that being said, let's get cracking and I uh, will start off with the tour of the edible hedgerow. From the bottom of the other side. Right, let's okay, so we literally entered in the allotment tour video this side of the plot. We're going to go another side. So we're going to go through, we're going to start at the back. 
So at the back here, we've got some rhubarb, which is a lovely ground cover plant. And as you can see as well, in amongst our rhubarb, we have some country, which is a great plant for the bees. So it's growing amongst the rhubarb. And you can actually see the stalks of some cordoons just here. So these are cordoons, so they're relatives of glove artichokes. And you harvest the stems, which you can see just through here. And cut them off, and you, I've made some uh, cordon gratin. The bit of cheese will go nice with some leeks and some bacon. Here we have a dog rose, so rose hips. From these, you see it's growing quite tall. And here we've got some more cordoons. These are uh, newly divided plants, as is our um, gooseberry here. That's newly divided as well. We've got some daffodils which come to end here. And then we have our hazel, which is this plant here. This forms the canopy part of the edible hedgerow. So the higher part. There's so many crops here. It'll be interesting to count them all. Here we have get focus on it, can we get focus, we have some currants, I'm not sure which one of it's red, if it's black or white, then we have, you can see here, true frugal style, we have some cuttings, or some dog rose just here, and then we have down here, alpine strawberries, so alpine strawberries are great for shady areas so they make lovely small berries and they, they pack more of a punch than the normal strawberries here we have some wild garlic here so this is going to be ground cover as well like with our alpine strawberries it's going to help to keep the weeds down um, once it starts to get more established obviously it's nowhere near that point yet so we've also got some hawthorn in here hawthorn is just going to be this one here hawthorn There's so much greenery it's hard to focus so we've got some hawthorn there there we go and i'm just trying to figure out if there's anything i haven't covered in this, in this area so you see a lot of the plants are quite similar because obviously i've been dividing again some alpine strawberries here some cursed bindweed, bit some country, and some young cordoons, some more currants. So this is the start, the bottom area of the edible hedgerow. Within this this area, I'm conscious of the length of this video. There are strawberries and other uh, rhubarb and other bits and bobs. So we come through here again, another young cordoon, some more cuttings, and. I see the yeah, a lot of weed to say it needs to be weeded up a little bit. Some more cordoons there. We have a fruit tree here. And we have some currants there. Now I've used some of these logs and this fencing as a way to have a little like log pile for nature here. I'm gonna grow some edible goodies along this. Speaking of a climbing edible, here we have goji berry. So make these lovely small red berries that goji berry is being trained up and it's going to climb along here we focus and along the fencing area or the entrances and inside here now remember these this is one annual bed in the middle this is another annual bed there so these are the ends of these annual beds as we go in now you can see here another cordoon this is a stem which you harvest and you can use. I've been calling them globe artichokes all this time. They haven't been. It's exciting because they can actually do a lot more with cordoons as well. Again, another young cordoon plant. Underneath it, some uh, country as well because it does well in shade. So this is going to be good for the bees. So the cordoon is going to grow up and over as a middle plant. This is going to be our ground colour here. And we have some strawberries here. Which are going to be ground cover 
and we have some morning glory I think it is or it's forget me not so I always forget so I'm wrong it could be something else and we have in there we have a the name Foxglove Foxgloves and some more cuttings just down here as well and we have some currants as well that's quite a lot of crops and again really the same here we have our dog rose that's going to be tamed climbed up there it's going to go up this fence and we've got some more country it's pretty much the same this area except we have a few chives just here at the front and if we go to this bed we have some more cordoons we have a damson in a focus we have some lemon balm here and we have some oregano some strawberries you see here this is a young cordoon division there on the back beyond that we've got some raspberries some thyme as well and we have a new rhubarb division so this is a young plant so I'll just give it some TLC until it can get anywhere close to being harvested so we come through we swing in this little entrance here we have here our blueberries the focus no you're not going to focus that's fine some blueberries foxglove cordoons and then the main and we have some tree cow just here that's gone to flower we've got new seedlings of that so that's fine we swing over here we had some raspberries and coming through we have our crab apple crab apple tree here come through and we have some comfrey again some foxgloves some raspberries that come up again some currants just here we swing out again it's a beautiful sound here this is a service berry from America I believe it's going to focus this is beautiful like flowers I can't remember the colour of the fruit. I'll just swing through. This video is quite long, so I might just have to speed up a little bit. Again, the same here. Service berry, rhubarb, comfrey, and, uh, glory again, chives, day lilies here. Let's swing out conscious of this video and this length. Here we have some slows, slow berries, slow gin, daffodils. There's some herbs in here and some horse horseradish. That's why these are left in pots. Got some more cordoons here, some daylilies here as well. And then we're going to ship off to the other side of the pot quickly go through the little makeshift community kitchen area and we'll just pick a few crops here at the back so we have the sky there that's Rowan we have Elder Hawthorne mainly I can't think if there's anything else different coming through at the moment I don't think there is so if there isn't, we'll end that video here. And if there is, I shall add it on. But this is the edible hedgerow. Obviously it's a work in progress, as is anything in life. And I'm looking forward to what the next years will come. So as you can see, there's a lot of cordoons. 
they're going to get harvested for their stems to let the other plants shine through. So there we have it guys, an edible forest hedgerow that's about two years old. See you later.